All right, get on your homework. Pick assignment number six. Number seven is not a function. And if you remember, we did multiples of seven, one through 49, then we did five problems. So number seven was a function. Number 14 was a function. And they pretty much were all functions. Yeah, Any questions? I don't get number nine. You multiply the two, the row by the column, and you get the x's and the y's by itself, and it's not a function. Any other questions? All right. Well, take out, to take out your notebooks, take a couple notes. Example one is a graph with the x and y and z coordinates, and it makes a rectangular prism. Example two is a function. Example five, example three, is a graph within three <laughs> with three <laughs> with three binomials. Assignment number six, one through hundred, multiples of fifty. Omit number one hundred. <laughs> John, how you doing? Fine, Mr. L. Oh, yeah? How you doing? Good. Got any questions? Um He's good as body. Yeah, can we just do the odds instead of like, can we just do the odds? How about we let you do the odds? But let's do the evens too. That works out, huh? <gasps> yeah, I have a question. Is number 27 6? <gasps> no. <laughs> <laughs> Try them. <laughs> That's right. it? Yeah. And we'll see. Any more questions, or is that pretty much it? Uh, I don't know. Are you going to do anything with your kids this weekend, Mr. Lufkin? <gasps> Probably. <laughs> what are you going to do? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll, I'll see you on Monday, Mr. Lufkin. All right, see you. What's up, Ms. Keller? How was your weekend? Oh, it's just great, John. How was yours? It was all right. Oh, that's great. What'd you do? I don't know. It's not my husband, actually. My daughter. It was real nice. It was real nice. What'd you do, John? Uh, nothing. Just hung out with Andy. Oh, really? Oh, Andy. Bad Andy. He's such a goof. Bad Andy. Is he still eating that bad Domino's pizza? I am not really sure. I don't yeah, know. he's bad. All right. We'll take out our books. Open up to page 175. My book's upside down. I'm telling you. I'm a, I'm a goofy one. All right? This passage says, this passage says, I've noticed my, myself, sir, it could be there in a little trouble with the stabilizers. What does that mean? I think it means that he's planting a garden, and it means that the summer sun is now shining. Ah, uh, Miss Kelly, I don't really understand that. It doesn't really make sense. Well, Johnny, I look at it from a deeper meaning, okay? Okay. You only got, I'll look at it from a deeper meaning, okay? Okay. Any more questions? Uh, I don't know. What, I mean, I don't get why, like, the garden, like, symbolizes, like, the summer, sh like, shining. Good question, good question. Why do you guys think they mean? Will, what do you think? <laughs> Will is, no, Will's what dumb. You? Will's stupid. Oh, John, you could be such a goof. He's not dumb. <laughs> What do you think it means, Will? Ah. I think the book sucks. Oh, you're such a kidder. Man, well, should we send you with Bat and Andy to Bat and Domino's Pizza? Okay. Did you want me to answer? Did I egg my nose, my nice new summer wardrobe? I went to the jail. crap. I think I look sexy. <laughs> Hi, my name is T. Tom Worth. I'm an athletic director here in Henry Sibley. First of all, first start, first for starters, new basketball season. Got a great team here. Looks like a good, great team. I'm excited to see you play. Number two, got a new coach. Hope you guys all respect him. Got a new coach. New things can be done. Change things we change around here. Everything's gonna be turned around. We're trying to change this around, okay? But number one, guys, talk about the drug problem. If I see you in a basketball game, you got a bag of hooch, but you, if you, and, but you don't have the pipe on you. Hey, I'm going to use the benefit of the doubt, but if it happens again, hey, I'm going to ask you. And if I see you at a weight game, you're acting like a donkey, 
you and a couple friends are acting like a donkey, I'm just going to come up to you and be like, can you please leave and I'm going to toss you. I'm going to get you out of here. Rule number one, drug alcohol abuse, first offense. First offense. You went out for two whole weeks and you were not able to let her. Second offense, you were out for a whole month. And third, third offense, got that? Three. You went out for a whole calendar year. You cannot let her and you're out for a whole calendar year again, like I said. So if I see you guys with a bag of tobacco on it, I'm just going to talk to you like I said before. Did anybody mention that I have a big ego? I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> else, would anything, anything else to say? Any, any questions? So we're going to go up against St. Thomas. St. Thomas. Come on, it's the first quarter. We get a safety on the opening kick. Two nothing. They won't know what hit them. Second quarter, we get three safeties. It's eight. Eight nothing. Eight nothing. And what do you guys, what I want you guys to do from the opening bet, I want you to fire out and light people up. Light people up, because it's your last time playing on the same field together. Third quarter. We're going to score four touchdowns. We're going to miss the extra point. Hit. That's going to be okay because we're going to block the opening kickoff. You may ask how we do that. I don't know. Either way. You guys want to know? Ask Mr. Tanner. Fourth quarter. Fourth quarter. Fourth quarter. We score five field goals. Fifteen more points. Five times three. Plus five, minus five. And we win the game, 72 to 11. And who's going to be with, there with me at, half, at the end of the game, standing on St. Thomas' own field, rising their head above the, above the sky, singing our school song? Who's with me? Let's go get them. Fire around and light people up. Thank you. <laughs>